Hello world, this is TJ Morris, and you're listening to TJ Morris CT Radio, and we have American Communications Online that we now work with, as well as Ascension Center Organization. All things are possible when you believe. We're doing different worlds, different ways to sin, and Tommy Hawksblood has been graciously holding this space for us Sundays for our Universal Life Ministers. Tommy and I both are Universal Life Ministers, registered and ordained ministers through the Universal Life Church, believe it or not, and family out of Modesto, California. So welcome aboard all you ground troops spinning around smartly. You know, what is spirituality? Difference in being religious and spiritual, uh, creating a way to ascend, understanding ascension with Teresa J. Morris, Tommy Hawksblood, Universal Life <laughs> Universal Life Ministers for ACO. Now, we are uh, having people that we enjoy around the world wondering how all this works with us. And the ascension came about in the early, early lifetimes of many, many levels and dimensions. And the thing about uh, being here now is we're all individuals, so we all have a role to play. We also have uh, gray matter, white matter, and this month we're going to have people coming on to talk about how they relate to individuals and various species in the universe as well as the pyramids. So uh, looking forward to all of you out there stopping by and telling us how you uh, fit in. If you want to join our tribe, it's called the ACO Association. That can stand for Ascension Center, our alien contact organization. Tommy Hawksblood just arrived. Great. Tommy, I was going to do this show by myself. <laughs> um, Tommy and I take turns, and this is uh, – uh, I'm, I'm going to help him with the first hour discuss some of these things that Arlene was asking me earlier about. What do we think about spirituality versus religion? And on the last, he can go into all the stuff that he has prepared here. Let me just read it real quick. Tommy, can you hear me? I can hear you fine. Hear you. Oh, there you are. Great. All right. Well, go ahead and introduce yourself. And then uh, if you want to, I'll read this as a race of people that you wrote or something. But go ahead and introduce yourself, sweet. Reading as usual, Sundays. Uh, yeah, Tommy Cox, but here, calling from the Big Island of Hawaii. Greetings, everyone. If you're here, hopefully you'll stick around for the two hours, or as long as you can. Uh, it's recorded, so you could always listen to it later if you can, or if you can't listen to it all now. But I, I'm promising to give you something that uh, will help uh, in your life, in, your, in yourself, as you grow through your spiritual unfoldment, or try to grow through it. Uh, little pointers here and there that could help you or stimulate the ideas around that. Uh, it's going to get pretty heavy. So uh, stick around. you got questions, please call in. Uh, call in after, the, at least let the hour go by so we can have some information out there first. But if it's really important, call in. We answer our phone. We answer the questions. Uh, I answer everything that comes in the best I can. So please get involved, listen, enjoy yourself today. Any questions, just call in or text. Put it in the chat room. The chat room's open. So if you don't like to talk on the phone or talk on the Internet, uh, please just stick it in the chat room, and I'll pull it up there, too. So with that, I'll give it back to TJ. Thank you. Well, thank you. Tommy has been excellent at showing up and being very uh, connected, on target, uh, being involved, and we're all connected on many, many levels, and uh, we're starting to acknowledge that. And we hear stories all over uh the universe, and we're starting to recognize that we are multidimensionals, interdimensionals, and we're spiritual. But what does spirituality mean? And difference in being religious and spiritual, because I know Tommy can talk for hours, if not lifetimes, on this, because that's one of the reasons uh, he and I met, I think, is to communicate and to help not only each other, but uh, others if they want to join us. And Tommy has written a little, uh, well, actually a lot. I had to, uh, I've tried to put it together, Tommy, because it wouldn't fit again. But anyway, as a race of people, which there are many different ones, we define ourselves by color. Well, at least we did for a long time. Now we're trying to hide our color and say we're all the same. Isn't that interesting? Now, he said all this, and that's fine. Uh, I read all this up. He's been doing this for weeks now, so a lot of, of you out there listening are probably following along anyway. And uh, different 
thoughts. So when other races come here and and what are they going to call them? This is definitely Tommy. There are five root races, uh, at least on the planet, the way that people have said, uh, I guess we could say when we were growing up, red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight, right? Jesus loves the little children of the world, and he put in here, there are five root races, black, brown, red, yellow, and white. How about that? Now, they will become one soon enough because the browning of America, they'll probably be the little red tinge and go more brown. I think the yellow tinge is going to go a little more brown. The black and the white are going to go a little more brown. So, you know, the universal order, and it's predicted by Philip Lindsay of Australia. He has a really good YouTube. I hope you'll tune into it. Uh, it's called the, what is that, uh, the something, at, Tommy, do you remember the one I referred you to? Was it the... I know it's about the root races, well, the seven root races. Uh, well, I just was talking about doing. I did a show about evolution and what that means, uh, which I feel is much more critical than anything else. What, how, if it's real, uh, and what it pertains to what's happening. Like you're saying, I'm saying by breeding, by by marriage, and and people having uh, children together will create one race. Eventually. Okay. I mean, you won't, be able to, you won't be able to say you're black, yellow, red, or white because you'll have every genes from all the races that are here. And now people are saying they got alien blood in there too. So then you got a mixture of that as well. But when those two yeah. races come back, if any of them do, I mean, I'm not saying they will. And I don't think many will come back. Uh, if they were spiritual enough to leave, they, they don't feel they have to, have to come back to this world or anything. But we'll get into that because I think what I wanted to do today is describe all the things we need to put in the foundation before we even talk about ascension or even ascending into a higher level. Because if you don't know who you are, where you're going, and any of that stuff for real, trying to talk about beyond that is like, well, well let's not talk about that. you still got your feet on the ground, and you're still trying to learn how to walk. So uh, that's, that's where I'm going to try to go today uh, and get into details about certain things about the aspects of them and everything else that man, mankind is here to do and learn and all those things that will help us in the future. Well, words are a form of communication. And there's many languages on this planet. I don't know how many of you out there speak all of them uh, or just some of them. And when I traveled for the government, they have, have what's called basic, a basic understanding or what's called a working knowledge. And uh, I, I was able to speak it when I went there, but there was, they would give you a little, like a week or so class and some of the basic words and things like that that you would maybe use in another country. But, the, you know, the business language is English. And we had a gentleman on from Singapore the other day, and you could hear his Hindi sound in his voice, but he was Singapore, but he said he was American. So these things, you know, we used to, we could distinguish by sound, but even sound, it's not just color anymore. It's sound. Everything's changing. It's speeded up. And spirituality and metaphysics is becoming well-known with cosmology. And metaphysics is one of the topics that is part of cosmology. Now, not everybody understands words or what the descriptions are. Uh, you can tell the sounds, but if you can't relate to the sound, uh, in other words, you don't understand the language if, let's say, you're born in Russia, and if you're listening now and you can't understand English, you're not going to understand anything I say. So this show is geared towards American culture, international relations, but traditionally we're going to talk about spirituality on Sunday, but spirituality refers to a religious process in the past of reformation which aims to recover the original shape of man, oriental, or uh, I guess you would say hominid, really. But uh, the image of God is uh, <laughs> sort of the founding sacred text in the world religions. And many world religions, people don't understand this or know this, have fallen off the place of the planet. Or they're no longer here. And I find that very interesting. And we have theosophists and uh, people that are in the clergy. And some people in the military, you may find out that you're uh, called clergy. And in the military, it will be a chaplain usually. But we have all walks of life in separate 
tones, separate words that are different. And they're it, not only are the words different, and you may not understand all the languages, but you may be of a different world religion. Like many people that live in the Mideast are uh, Muslims. And I was born in America and uh, white Anglo-Saxon Protestant. I wasn't even a Catholic, but there's Catholics here. But Tommy and I have formed this do what's right, universal life. And spirituality, the quality of being concerned with the human spirit, soul, opposed to material or physical things is more of a simple way to say it. So uh, what is the difference between spirituality and religion? That's a good question. And that's one that a friend of mine, Arlene Harvey, that's moved from where Tommy used to live in New Jersey, here down here with me in Gulf Breeze, came by and stopped by today after the Unity Church, U-N-I-T-Y, Unity, not Universal. But uh, religion and spirituality are intertwined but quite different. It's as if, you, if to understand spirituality gives an individual autonomy over his own interpretation of his soul and spirit, whereas religion... That is set up to imply a participation in a communal practice, an interpretation of divine belief and worship. So uh, there's many, many words and many, many ways to believe. And Arlene and I were talking today, and you know, it's, each individual has their own opinion of how they experience through the mind, the gray and white matter of the brain, and uh, how you interpret and filter the energy that's coming down from the highest level that we call the unity consciousness, and that's also considered the highest level for many. If you can't understand it, you can't grok it, you can't get it, and you sure don't need any of your uh, earthly experiences as far as uh, sight and sound and touch and feeling, and your emotions don't even apply. So what are we? So this is what we're going to talk about for a little while, and Tommy can talk about all these other lower-level existence uh, topics. But we want to talk at the highest level, and Tommy has the ability to talk with me at the lowest level in a microcosm to the macrocosm. And in between, uh, just to make it easy for people, on the planet, we talk about us as humanoids in a physical body. But Tommy and I both had out-of-body, near-death experiences, and we're meeting a whole bunch of people and putting them in our association that have had and understand training in spirituality, and not so much religion, but if you come with all your past religious uh, understanding and what you brought on, it's sort of like extra baggage, or, but it's still translated into philosophy and what you bring to the table, your own ideas and what you uh, learned while you were here. But now when Tommy and I go up, we talk about, and I'm going to let him do that, the various levels, we have interdimensionals, uh, inter, inter dimensionals inter i n t e r and i'm going to look that up and uh, explain that real quick and we have trans dimensionals those that can translate from one place into another and tommy in his training or however he learned to speak and uh, accept words uh, he he learned how to separate different levels and i've always wanted him to teach the difference between levels and dimensions 